Hey, how are you doing? My name is Xu. In today's video, I want to share with you the best 10 apps and softwares for doing Zettelkast and note taking method. The first app is Zettler. It has been around for three or four years now. I've used it a few times and had a great time with it. It's an open source and free software with lots of features for doing zero casting. Also, it got integration with reference managers like Zotero, which makes a great knowledge management tool for students and academics. I like its design, simplistic and beautiful. It feels like I'm using Safari because it's got almost identical interface. You can have multiple notes open as tabs, which is pretty cool. Also, they have this button that shows you the readability of your writing based on some algorithms, which can be useful if you regularly write essays and articles. All right, the second app is Mem. It's an app that I discovered last year, but haven't got time to make a video about. It's actually gaining lots of popularity because it's really well made. What's different about Mem is that most of your writing happens on the timeline. It can be anything you want to write about, such as a meeting notes and the task, contact detail, or just a quick note for your new ideas. I really like it because you can see your notes in a stream. This way you know the context of each note, which is helpful for remembering what you wrote. It's kind of similar to the idea of interstitial journaling that I talked about in my previous video. Also, I like it has inbox where you can sort your new notes so you can review, snooze, or remove them like you do with emails. And having quick access to the list of tasks from all of your notes is a huge plus for me too. For Zerocasten, being able to link your notes together and having a sidebar definitely helps. All right, if you've been watching my videos, you probably know I love Ampronote. I use it almost every single day for managing tasks and projects. It has the best task management features among other note apps, such as the task score algorithm that automatically sorts your to-do list based on task importance and urgency, as well as the easy drag and drop calendar blocking. But Ampronote is actually also great for taking notes too. You can connect your notes together using bi-directional linking, reference heading level blocks, also, they have a unique feature called Rich Footnote, where you can add a link to other note, text, image, tweet, video, and so on to any text. I love this because it lets you simplify your writing and writing 3D, as they say. If you're interested in trying Ampronote, I have a whole playlist about it, so check it out. Next up is Rome Research. Well, I think almost everybody knows Rome. It's the app that made the concept of bidirectional linking popular. I know there are some people criticizing Rome for various reasons, but it doesn't change the fact that it's a brilliant product. In Rome, each bullet is like your thinking block. You use these blocks to develop ideas and a thought. Since Rome lets you reference any block in your knowledge base, you can easily build new ideas upon the existing ones. Also, what's great is that it lets you manipulate with reference blocks in different ways like replacing with text, alias, and so on. This is actually one of the most powerful features of Roam in my opinion. There are lots of resources about how to use Roam and do Zerocasting on my channel if you're interested. Logseek is an open source free note taking app that's quite similar to Roam. There are lots of similarities, but there are some differences too. For example, it has a built-in space repetition system, which I think is absolutely critical for any note taking app for remembering what you wrote and resurfacing your old notes. Also, it has a great PDF reader that lets you highlight and make notes about the highlights. This is great for people who have to read lots of PDF, such as students and researchers. Then, its plugin library is expanding quickly, making it easier for you to customize your second brain with Logseek. Obviously, people compare Logseek to Roam, so if you're interested in that, you can check this comparison video. By the way, one of the apps I love using with Logseek is Shortform, which is a huge library of book guides and summaries. Unlike other book summary apps, Shortform's book guides are super detailed and come with smart insights about how one author thinks about another author. This makes it easy to understand the ideas at a deeper level and build these connections between ideas. The way I like to use it is that since Shortform lets you download their book guides as PDF, I import them to my Logseek knowledge base, then use its PDF reader to make highlights. After that, I can make new notes about them. I've been doing this every other day for the past few months and uh, it's been a great exercise for my brain. <laughs> if you'd like to try Shortform, you can get 5 days of unlimited access and an additional 20% discount on the annual subscription from shortform.com slash Xiaomi. 
probably the most popular note-taking app right now is Obsidian. It's completely free and it offers such a wide range of features thanks to its community plugins. I think what made Obsidian one of the most popular note-taking apps in such a short period of time is its community. It's full of amazing people always trying to help each other and make the tool better. Um, anyway, it's great for doing zero custom. It also has a few plugins that are specifically made for that. Reflect is another great app, but not known by many people. It kind of looks like Rome in Obsidian theme. It looks really nice and super fast, which has been a huge issue for some annoyed apps like Rome and LogSeek. Feature-wise, it's very similar to Rome, but Reflect lets you connect it to your Google Calendar and add a meeting. Also, it has a great Chrome extension that lets you import highlights from any web page into your knowledge base in an instant. Finally, Squinto is a new note app that I discovered recently. Most of the apps in this list kind of look similar or almost identical, but Squinto definitely has a distinctive look. Unlike others, it takes more visual approach to personal knowledge management. Essentially, it gives you an infinite canvas where you can create new notes and organize them however you like. There has been some similar note apps like this, but what I love about Screen Tool is that it also lets you connect notes using bi-directional links. This makes it easy to build a web of knowledge. And also, what I like about their approach is that it lets you visualize how each note is related. For example, you can see this note leads to this note, which leads to another note. Being able to see relations of notes like this is really helpful to deepen your understanding of a topic you're learning. I am now making a full review of Screentool, which will be my next video, so stay tuned if you're interested. Zero custom method might seem complicated at first, but once it clicks, it can be such a powerful knowledge management technique. If you don't know where to start, this explainer video will give you a general idea of the method to get you started. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!